try to tell this lives can only start is begin of to rule his mighty universe yet small in strive to go beyond a reef of space to crawl beyond the distant many stars these walls are My master's house, the open sky, but a portion of his yard. How big is God? How big? And why it is fast domain to try to tell these lips can only start is big enough to this mighty universe, yet small enough to live within my heart, as winter's chill may cause the Tiny seed to fall, to lie asleep till waked by summer's rain. The heart grown cold will warm and throb. We lies on no master touch will bring the glowing game. Please join me, how big is God? How big is God? How big? Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me. 
great I see that is in me than he that is in the world. Satan's like a roaring lion roaming to and fro, sinking home he made it for, the Bible tells us so. Many so have been his prey to falling so weak heart. But God has promised us today is overcoming power. Great I say that is in me. Great I say that is in me. Great I say that is in me. That is in the world. On that day of Pentecost, a rushing mighty wind blew into the upper room and baptized all of them with a power greater than any earthly foe. And I'm so glad I've got it too. I'll let the whole world know. Great I say that is in me. Great I say that is in me. Great I say that is in me. That is I say that world. One more time. Great I say that is in me. Great I say that is in me. Great I say that is in me. That is I say in the world. How big is God? How big and wide is far the me? Join me. To try to tell this lives God only star is big enough to rule his mighty universe. Yes. Yes, how mighty is our God, big enough to occupy the entire universe. The Bible says even the heavens cannot contain him, yet he's small enough to live in our hearts. If the Lord is not yet living in your heart, may he do so today. Uh, it's my prayer that you give him room to do that. Amen. You are all welcome to our service, and our internet audience are also welcome. This is Apostolic Faith, Bexley Branch, and we're located at number 13, Penn Hill Road, and that's in Bexley, DA53 EP. If you live locally, we'll be glad for you to come and join us one of these days and worship with us. You can be sure that God will bless you. Um, but if you don't live locally and sometime in the future you visit around here, um, it will be quite easy for you to locate us. We're along that road, um, Penhill Road, um, and we'll be glad that you stop over and worship with us. For now, we're continuing our service. We thank God for um, the organ uh, uh, piano prelude that we had by Brad Godwin, and then we had that beautiful solo by Brother Mike. It's our turn now to sing together, and Brother Mike is going to be our songs leader. God bless you. Let's start to sing together 180, 180 CGS, from every stormy wind that blows, from every swelling tide of war, there is a calm, yes. a sure retreat. Amen. It is found beneath the masses seat. Despite all that is happening, there is a calm. Yes. Jesus is there for us, Amen. and we shall not be affected. We will, listen to the, we will listen to the tune and take three verses from this number.
Amen. Let's take number 126. 126 from our CGS. 126. 126. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. And it will not fail us. Amen. Let's sing three verses from this after the tune as well. captain leads against the foe and it will lead us safely Amen. we listen to this tune i think and uh, we'll sing two verses one and two christ our mighty captain Sure to win. Yes. Let's take 92. 92. Number 92. CGS 92. Cling to the Bible. Yes. Do all else may be taken. We'll listen to this tune and take two verses from this number as well. Cling to the Bible. the past they had this experience of a pandemic god kept them safe in goshen yeah. and so shall he keep us safe in goshen yeah. and none of us shall be affected yeah. 485 is the next one 
485 will be the next and the last one before we pray. 485. We'll sing verses 1, 2, and 4. Verses 1, 2, and 4. 485. We'll sing the first verse, standing up, and we shall remain standing to be led in prayer. 485. <laughs> and most heavenly father we bring unto you the sacrifices of praise and thanksgiving for your love towards us is great we are living witnesses of your sustaining power we are living witnesses of your help Lord for all these accept our thanks our tongues cannot express our gratitude for keeping us as it were in the land of Goshen. We know that there are storms around the world, but we have sung from every storm that blow, there is a calm and there is a sure retreat. This is found in you. We thank you for this opportunity. You've given us to meet right in your presence. Where there is fullness of joy, yes. where there is resounding victory yes. and assurance of salvation, yes. Lord, for this, accept our thanks. Yes. You are a big God. Yes. You are a mighty God. Yes. 
at the sneeze of your, 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 your just you at your sneeze, Lord, the world quakes. Yes. But we thank you because you're so small enough to live in our hearts. Yes. And that's why we are gathered here today yes. to be encouraged by your word, yes. to be admonished by your word. Yes. Lord, we pray that you open our hearts. Yes. We pray that today, oh Lord, you will endure, oh God, your servant. Yes. With that word that will meet us at our point of need. Yes. There are some that may be troubled. But Lord, you've given us a promise. Yes. That our hearts should not be troubled. Yes. But rather we, we should believe in you. Yes. You have a greater plan that we know. Yes. Lord God Almighty, we pray that today you will encourage us. Yes. Your word is powerful. Yes. We pray that this morning. Your word will pierce our hearts. Amen. Break the heart of stone. Amen. Reach to us, O oh God. Amen. Let there be salvation. Amen. Resound victory of sanctification. Amen. Those things that have been lingering in our hearts, that have been debarring us of your blessing, that today, O oh Lord, you will remove them. Amen. And we will receive the outpouring Amen. of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, you will use this service to change the world. Amen. Lord, you will use us to touch our world. Amen. Lord, come and do it. Amen. We know that people are gathered in other places. Lord, and there are some that would have wished to be here, but they are not here. Some true sickness. We know your world is able to reach out and heal. Lord, send forth your world. Amen. At the end of this day, oh Lord, we want to say thanks be to God yes. that we came into the house of the Lord. Bless us and make us a blessing. Yes. We pray in Jesus' name. This morning is taken from Psalm 51. We read from verses 9 to 17. Psalm 51. Had thy face from my sins and blot out all mine iniquities. Amen. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Amen. 11. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me to have restored unto me the joy of thy salvation, Amen. and uphold me with thy free spirit. Amen. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. 16. For thou desirest not sacrifices, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings. 17 and the last. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Amen. I wandered on in 
Psalm 51, I'm reading from verse 16. Psalm 51, verse 16. For thou desirest not sacrifice, as will I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. 17. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Amen. Thank God for his love for us. Yes. Uh, God will have us consider uh, the topic sacrifice. What does it mean? where part of the meaning uh, says an act of slaughtering an animal or a person or surrendering a possession as an offering to a deity. The Bible is a comprehensive book the book of books yes. where there are different types of uh, sacrifices that people do um, either when someone is pressed and he wants to get something from God or uh, he wants some favor or there is a, a, a big problem, and maybe he has done some other things, and yet no solution. So he or she will be ready to go to any length 
to get the problem solved. Um, some maybe a catastrophic uh, condition, um, and uh, maybe the person has been advised by some herbalists or some people who read the palms or whatever, so they are ready to do anything. Uh, in my own, in my, my own culture, we are in Africa, part of the place where uh, I live. You, when, sometimes when you go to the, uh, you are going out to uh, the stream or uh, the village, you reach a kind of uh, a crossroads. You see some things like uh, maybe a goat or a chicken or something like that caught in pieces, they can put oil, and to them, they are doing a sacrifice. And uh, as I said, and uh, that is what they want solution to their problems. But we thank God for the Bible. Amen. So all those things uh, will not... Uh, um, let's see, um, Isaiah chapter 1, Isaiah chapter 1, I'm reading verses 10 and 11, Isaiah chapter 1, verses 10 and 11, hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom, give ear unto the law of our God, ye people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, said the Lord? I am full of the burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed beasts. I delight not in the blood of bullocks or of lambs or of he goats. This was uh, the nation of Israel. It was God himself who ordained that they should give uh, do sacrifices. But here, God was fed up. So we can see that um, even though that was uh, uh, God ordained that for them, it, it depends on how they, how they brought the offering. So God said he, he, he was not he, he did not expect that from them. So let's see, but uh, we see as Bible students, when uh, Abraham, when he was told by God to go and offer his uh, son in Genesis chapter 22, when God called him to go and offer his son Isaac, say, thy son whom thou lovest. And uh, he was obedient, he didn't mind, because he trusted God, even though every hope was on Isaac, that through him, he was going to bless the whole world. But Abraham believed God. Amen. So, and uh, they went on their journey to the extent that uh, Isaac asked him, ah, we've got everything. What about the, the lamb we are going to do, use for the sacrifice? And he prophetically said that uh, God will provide. Yes. And God did provide. Yes. So when God did provide, um, he told him that uh, he, he saw that, we are told that he saw the ram caught in the ticket. And uh, he took that ram and made the sacrifice. That was acceptable because uh, it was God that ordained it. Yes. Amen. So, and uh, we know that when God says yes, it means yes. Yeah. Uh, it means there are sacrifices acceptable, some are unacceptable. Yeah. We want God to help us so that our own sacrifices will be acceptable to God. Amen. 
uh, we, we, depends on with what heart we bring the uh, sacrifice. For all have sinned, Romans chapter 3, verse 23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Yeah, why must we, why must we bring sacrifice? Um, God is worthy of everything. Yeah. But the, before our sacrifice can be acceptable, let's look at David, for example. David, we are told, is the man after God's own heart. You know, our God is a God of love, yes. but he is also a God of judgment. Yes. So when David committed sin, God did not cover him. So God sent uh, Prophet Nathan to him, and uh, from the text that was read to us, we see that uh, if we see, go to verse 1, start from verse 1 of that uh, Psalm 51. Say, have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Amen. So, if we want our sacrifice to be acceptable, we must start right. Yeah. The first thing is to uh, bring our sins. When we bring our sins, then we tell him that we are very sorry for the sins we have committed. Then we are making a good start. But if we, uh, we just have the knowledge of the Bible, and quote the Bible. Well, as uh, we had during the Sunday school, you no, know, Satan can quote the, uh, he knows the Bible too, mm -hmm. but we want God to help us to use the word of God correctly. Amen. So God, did, God who did not cover David, he will not cover me, he will not cover you too. What do I mean by that? The blood of Jesus will cover our sins. Amen. When we confess them and forsake them and pray for him to have mercy upon us. Amen. But uh, even after we have been saved, I thank God for this church. Amen. Uh, we are always told the truth because the truth is the one that will take us to heaven. Yes. And Jesus himself is the truth. Yes. So, after we have known God, God wants us to continue to serve him. Yeah. So how do we serve him? We want to worship him in spirit, in spirit and in truth. Yes. And he's able to help us. Yes. So for us to, uh, the type of offering that God is happy with. Let's see Isaiah chapter 66. The sacrifice, we are talking of sacrifice. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 2. For all those things have my hand made, and all those things have been, said the Lord. But to this man will I look. Yes. So the man, woman, boy, or girl. Yes. Even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit. Yes. He may be rich enough to buy a jet. So it's talking of the condition of the heart. Yeah. So if we are able to humble ourselves, that God, please come and dwell in my heart, Amen. he will be more than happy. Yes. So he said that those that, that is poor and of a contrite spirit and trembleth at my word. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. When we look at uh, the way, why is it that uh, David is still called a man after God's own heart? David he committed some, a number of atrocities, and God did not hide him, but each time he always owned up. Yeah, yeah. yeah but uh, some of the kings in Israel and uh, Judah, they don't 
they don't believe that they are like Ahab. He knew he has committed sins. He put on sackcloth so as to get rid of the problem. Well, you know, our God is so merciful. Yes. Thank God for a man of God. He said that at a time, he, he, said, he saw that he was very close to sin. Each time I remember that, I, I, I look at myself. Have I even started this race? If this man, this great man of God can say that, he said he felt that he was very close to sin. And he asked God to bring back that problem. Yes. Yes. May God help us. Yes. So what do I want to bring out? It is our, the state of our heart that God wants. Yes. When we are talking of sacrifice. Yes. Saul, he knew that he has done what was wrong. The man of God said, wait till I come. He, his own is the throne. He was not given the, uh, the work of the priest. And he said he pushed himself to do it. He has done something wrong. He has done, he has disobeyed. Instead of uh, repenting and saying, I am very sorry. He said because of this, because of that. God wants me to check myself. He wants you to check yourself too. When we have blown it, don't let us patch up. Because God will not accept uh, such a sacrifice. God will want us to be true. To tell him that we are wrong. And we, are able, we want to make it right. Amen. God will be happy Amen. to help us. So that we will be offering acceptable sacrifices. And God is able to do that for us. Amen. Yeah. So many things. We are talking of sacrifice, sacrifices. Now we don't have to bring a ram or a goat. Why? Because Jesus has done it all. Amen. He has paid the price. Yes. And we want him to help us to appreciate the great price that he has paid. The great price that he has paid. We want to value it. God help us to value the price he has paid. Amen. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Yes. Being made a curse for us, for it is written... Curse is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. So Jesus has done it for us. He, he, we don't need to bring a goat or a ram. You know, as you have come to the church, you have come to offer sacrifice. So how do we offer the sacrifice? What type of sacrifice? We, when we come to the church, we bring our heart. We don't use a knife to cut it and then give it, put it on the altar. You know, God knows your heart. He knows my heart. Yeah. If there is a hypocrisy in my heart, he knows. If there is a hypocrisy in your heart, he knows. Yeah. And that will earn us nothing. It will, it will earn us nothing. Remember those people. They were asking questions, but they were insincere. So when we truly bring our offering, where does he want us to bring it to? Where? Deuteronomy chapter 12. Deuteronomy chapter 12. Where shall we bring? Verse 5. But unto the place which the Lord your God shall choose, out of all your tribes to put his name there, even unto his habitation shall ye seek. 
and thither thou shalt come. You know, we don't teach that uh, apostolic faith is the only church where we should worship. No, we don't. But thank God we can say that God has given us the whole truth Amen. in this church. Amen. And if you come and you are determined to make heaven, yes. the word of God you will hear is enough to take you to heaven. Yes. If you are sincere enough, first of all, you start right. It doesn't matter what position you have uh, been given in your previous church. You may not even go to church at all. Just come. Come as you are. Amen. When you hear the word of God, the word of God, as he are told in uh, Hebrews 4.12, is a two-edged, is sharper than a two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a designer of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Yes. As I am talking now, God knows my heart. He knows your heart. Yes. So if we have come to receive blessing, you know, we will not go without being blessed. This is a church that is, uh, uh, you know, started by God himself. If we put a child of 10 here, if we just say, Jesus saves, you know, blessings will fall down. It is not the person who is talking, but Jesus is always here. Everywhere the name of Jesus is called in sincerity, Jesus is there. Don't misunderstand me. Say that man has said that uh, it's not the, uh, this is not the only place. That is true. So you can go to anywhere. That's true. But check where you are going. Whether you hear the whole truth whether uh, you are going to be a uh, worshiping man or God, whether the whole truth that you hear in where you say, they say you can go to anywhere. Some people say anywhere they mention the name of God, they have been swept here and there. They cannot determine what to do because uh, the enemy of their soul doesn't get, let them settle down. The most important point there is that they are not determined. If you are determined to serve God, God will help you. Amen. So he told them that uh, where he put his name, if we re try to recollect some uh, tr tricks played by the Israelites himself, themselves, rather, you know that man Jeroboam, he was not supposed to be king, but he, God made him king. And then he said, if he will walk after him, as David did, he will build him a house. And then he went and then made some gods. Put one in Bethel, one in Dan, uh, all images, calves, that they should not, if they go back to Jerusalem, they will go and, uh, they will go back to Rehoboam. Uh, God knows your heart. He knows my heart. Yes. Some people, uh, we're talking of this now. Some people, they ask for talisman. What they think will they have some magic power. Those, some people may not have something that they put oil. But they have something that they believe. Their sacrifices will be unacceptable. Because they will be calling on God that cannot save, that cannot deliver. But our God here delivers. Amen. God is able to deliver. Yes. So he said they should bring the offering to where he has put his name. When this place was dedicated, the man of God said it's a soul saving station. Amen. And that's what God is doing. That's what he will continue to do. Amen. He will deliver. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. It's a warning. Proverbs chapter 21. Proverbs chapter 21. 
the sacrifice of the wicked is abomination. How much more when he bringeth it with a wicked mind? May God deliver us. Amen. So this is a place where we trust God for everything. So if uh, some people, uh, what they want is uh, they just want money. They want money. They want money. It is true that uh, we even say that uh, uh, money is the vehicle for the gospel. That is true. But uh, we are not uh, a church that we ask you to go and uh, just go and get money from any source and bring it because we want to buy a church, because we want to do God's work. No, God doesn't want your money. No. God needs your heart, first of all. Yes. Or you want to go and gamble. You want to uh, play life or whatever. No. That will not take you to heaven. No. So be careful. Be careful. Let's see that man. What did he, what did, somebody was asking God. So our God is great. And the sacrifice that he wants us to bring is such that uh, he will be happy with us. Yeah. We want him to help us so that uh, we are not uh, just... Uh, we are not just doing something just for doing sake. Is God happy with me? Is God happy with you? What did man, what was he asking? I'm reading from Micah. What is asking God? Micah chapter 6. Wherewith shall I come before the Lord? and bow myself before the high God. Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves of a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, or with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? Uh, that man of God used to say that, uh, some people, they like to give God gifts. They like to give God gifts. The gifts that you give to God, if you give God anything at all, if at all, everything belongs to God. Yes. It's not your own. So that will not uh, give us peace. If we are just attempting to give God gifts, but our heart is full of rubbish, uh, that will not take us to heaven. No. You know, he told the, the, uh, some people that uh, they are like a whited sepulcher. Mm. Because the sepulcher inside is full of rotten bones. Outside they can paint it. If that is the condition of your heart, God can change it today. Yes. That is if you will let him. Yeah. So this man was asking. So that's just like you hear so many news about people who say claim to be serving God. If you can bring money, they will take money and then they will pray for you. It is be, why? Why do people want? Why do they go do, go that way? Why? There is a reason. So their sacrifice cannot be accepted. It is not because. The, uh, they don't know. Why? They know. They know. If we know and we claim not to know, it is terrible. May yes. God deliver us from uh, such uh, things. Amen. Uh, if you know, Amen. you try to uh, behave as if you don't know. May God deliver us. Amen. God will make them, if you decide that you want to be blind, God can make you blind. May God deliver us from uh, blindness. Amen. 
We want God to give us uh, eyes to see. Yes. Yes. Amen. Said that uh, they they know they, they they not that they don't know. Said God gave them up to a reprobate mind. Why? It is because their heart is dark. They don't really love God. They don't love God. They claim to love God, but uh, they are doing something else. Romans chapter 1. And even, verse 28, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. So God wants us to have a pure heart. Amen. And uh, we can only have that when we surrender all Amen. to Jesus. Amen. And our sacrifices will be acceptable. Amen. When you know, when you pray, you bring your first offering. Just like Israel, when they were doing, doing, doing their uh, wandering in the wilderness. The tabernacle in the wilderness. You know, the first offering is wonderful. How did the fire come? How did the fire come? The first uh, tabernacle. How did the fire come? So we need to ask God to help us Amen. because we want him to be in our heart. Leviticus chapter 9. How did the fire come? They did not make the fire. The fire came wonderfully. Amen. That is a similar thing that happened when you and I, when we are saved. 23. 9, 23. And Moses and Aaron went into the tabernacle of the congregation and came out and blessed the people. And the glory of the Lord appeared unto the people, Amen. unto all the people. <coughs> glory be to God. Amen. 24. And there came a fire out from before the Lord and consumed upon the altar Amen. the burnt offering and the fat, which when all the people saw, they shouted and fell on their faces. Amen. That is the same way in the spiritual sense, what we can infer from there, the fire is made in your heart, Amen. in my heart, at salvation. Amen. When we pray and tell God all the sins we have committed, Amen. whether you have killed somebody before, you have stolen, whatever you have done, you tell God, I am sorry. Yeah. Um, I will not do it again. Yeah. I will serve you with all my, yeah. my heart. Yeah. You know, you are making promises. Yeah. And the promises... God wants you to fulfill. Yes. You know, you cannot do it in your own strength, but God can help you. Yes. He will help me too. Amen. Acceptable sacrifices is the one I want to bring. I'm sure that's the one you want to bring. Yes. That God will accept your sacrifices. Amen. To keep the fire burning. You know, how do we keep the fire burning? Um... When we keep the fire burning, he says in, in, in uh, that Leviticus chapter 6, to keep the fire burning, 12, and the fire upon the altar shall be burning in it. It shall not be put out, and the priest shall burn wood on it every morning, and lay the burnt offerings in the order upon it and it shall burn there around the fat of the peace offering. 13. Let's note that the fire shall ever be burning upon the altar. Amen. Is the fire still burning upon the altar of your heart? The same thing God is asking me. Is the fire still burning? You know, maybe it has been rotting. You know, God can help you to sharpen it today. Amen. Acceptable sacrifices. That is when you will be able, as he said in uh, Daniel 11.32, say those who, they will, those who know their God shall do exploit. Doing 
exploit. You can give uh, tracts to people. You can tell them your testimony. That Jesus has saved my soul. Amen. And when you say that, there is no condemnation. Yes. Say Romans 8, 1, say there is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. Yes. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Yes. Glory be to God. Amen. How do, how do we keep the fire burning? We, we come to Sunday school. Uh, during the week, we come for Bible study. And if for any reason you are not able to come, you are free to ask for the materials. Some people are even advised to join the virtual Bible study. No, we must keep the fire burning. Amen. The people of all, our fathers in the Lord, those who have gone before and those who are still here now, even when they preach, you see them, they still pray. And when uh, those who are even younger than them, when they preach, they don't say that they have known it all. Some people, their sacrifices are not acceptable. Why? Because they look at the teacher. Who is, what is he going to say? When did he come to the church? How can he be leading anyway? Nobody sees it, but Jesus sees it. Yeah. I should be there, but who are you? Who am I? Jesus is always here. Amen. May God help us. Amen. Acceptable sacrifice. Let's see our master. Example of our master. Psalm 40. Our master. What type of sacrifice does God expect us to offer? Psalm 40. Verse 6, sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire. My ears as thou opened. May God do that for you. Amen. May God do that for me too. Amen. Burnt offering and sin offering as thou not required. Then said I, lo, I come. In the volume of the book it is written of me. I delight to do thy will. No wonder it's a perfect sacrifice. Yes. He, he told the disciples that uh, I have the meat to eat that you don't know. Mm. Say, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me Amen. and to finish his work. Yes. So when we bring the offering that is acceptable, you see that uh, part of uh, the text that we read, that is when he will be able to do that. You know, in Psalm 32, he said that uh, when, he covered, when he was covering up, he said, uh, he was, what did he say? Let's read the part of Psalm 32. He, he said something about when he was covering up. Fastly, when I kept silence, my bones waxed all through my running all the day long. There is, there is what is called the silent killer, the conscience. If we don't allow our conscience, when our conscience condemns us, well, God is greater than our heart. Yes. He will condemn us more. So when he, when he was trying to cover up, uh, uh, he committed adultery. He tried to send for Urias, uh, give him food, give him drink. Uh, no, it didn't work. All those uh, methods will not work. But when we confess our sins, Amen. God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins Amen. and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. So he said, but verse 5, I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and thou forgivest the iniquity of my sin. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. God just wants us to own up. If we own up, then everything will be fine. Amen. So what he wanted to do, like uh, when he was still covering up, he was still the king, but the peace of God, has left him. 
then after he, if he has, if he, because he will offer the sacrifices that he will be offering now, after he has repented, he has owned up for God, then he will be able to do all these things he said. He said in Psalm 51, he said that, uh, what did he say? Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, Amen. verse 12, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Amen. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways. Amen. So when you, are, when you are heavy, when your heart is heavy, when you are still, it's just like uh, if a blind man is trying to lead somebody who is blind, both of them will fall into the ditch. But now that he has seen, he can see clearly. Amen. Because God has forgiven him. Amen. He is free. Yes. Hey, then he will be able to do all that. He will be able to tell uh, people about God. That God is able to deliver. Amen. And if we can bring that type of sacrifice, you know, the, the world is in commotion. Jesus will tell us, Peace be still. Amen. That's what Jesus will do for us. Amen. He doesn't want us to cover up. So remember that the sacrifice of the wicked is abomination unto God. So God is able to bring out, he said if he's hungry, he doesn't need to tell you or myself. So it is not what we bring to uh, the tithe box that will take us to heaven. So if we withhold what we should put there, our, uh, our heart will condemn us. And uh, that will not bring us peace. But we must believe that anything we get from God, it is nothing of us. It is because of his goodness. Yes. It is because of his mercy. Yes. Glory be to God. Amen. So may God help us to offer Let's see, before we go and pray, what God tell that, uh, that uh, man who was asking whether he should offer his son, whether he should bring uh, plenty, of, uh, plenty of oil or golds or rams. He has showed the old man what is good and what does the Lord require of thee but to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God. That's the same thing God is asking of you and from me. Acceptable sacrifice. The altar is the place.
dear Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for giving us this word of life. We want to offer sacrifices that are acceptable unto you. We don't want to offer you those sacrifices that you will reject. And our heart is the first that you want us to offer unto you. Lord, we are asking that as we bow our knees before you at this moment, that you will look down from heaven. If there be anything in us that will make our sacrifice not acceptable unto you, please forgive, O oh Lord. We ask that you will pardon and that you will wash our hearts with the blood of Jesus. O oh God, we pray that as we pray unto you now, you will save souls. We are praying that, God, you will deliver from sin and unrighteousness. Help us, O oh Lord God, that we will conform to your image. Lord, we pray that you will sanctify every soul that is looking up to you, O oh God. And we pray that as you sanctify us, you will bring down your Holy Ghost and baptize us with Holy Ghost and fire. Heal today, O oh Lord God. Deliver and set free. Send us home with joy and rejoicing. Thank you for answered prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.